How you guys doing? Thanks for clicking on the thumbnail. And no, this is not a tutorial about how to read your first book. It's about how to write your first book. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to my Tutorial Tuesdays. And yes, today I'm going to talk about two ways of how you can just get rid of writer's block and just start writing and stay to the end because I'm going to have a trick that uh, Stephen King uses to finish his books. So, what's my first way of writing? My first way of writing, and I do have eight published books, see them all there, so I know a little bit of what I'm talking about, but one of my ways is just to write. A lot of people think you've got to sit there and figure out, okay, here's my character list, and here are the motivations, and here is this, and here is that, and yes, that can help because you do need structure to your book, but it's not a necessity and that can happen organically if you just start writing. So with this one I knew, okay, I wanted vampires, I wanted CIA agents, I wanted three of them, and I just started going for it. And so how that works is that if you just start writing scenes, okay, you know it's got to be action, so three CIA agents and they're in the field and, and they're running down the, the, the road and oh, and oh, oh well, okay, how about the Secret Service agents? Yeah, and Secret Service agents start running after them. And you just start writing, you start building. And then next thing you know, instead of sitting there staring at a blank page, dun, 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 you are now uh, staring at words on a page and then several pages. And what happens is that you might get to page seven or eight in a scene and then suddenly go, oh, now I know how I want this character to act. And so suddenly you might want a character to be sarcastic or rude or anything like that. That's great. So now suddenly you, you pinpoint a characterization of that character, but now you're going to have to go back those seven or eight pages that you've written and adjust some dialogue. And that's okay because I'm sure you've heard that writing is rewriting. And so that's one way to just move forward. You just start typing, start writing. You're going to get an epiphany, go, oh, that's right, okay, we can do it this way. And then you go back and then you update that character's dialogue. Boom. Just keep doing that. Because as you do that, as the characters grow, as a storyline grows, and don't worry about the storyline being so confusing in your head to confuse you, if you just start writing, you'll be surprised that your source starts to work with you and next thing you know you're really not putting the effort into the words they're kind of coming through you and you're like oh yeah okay then they say this oh my god yes then they say that. oh that's so great and it's just going to start coming alive in your head and it's going to be just kind of transcribed onto the you know laptop or if you're writing longhand however you do it so that's the first way is just start writing now the second way is yes you can organize a little bit more you can sit there and say okay um, you know, I want three CIA agents, they're going to be vampires, um, okay, they'll be the good guys, uh, you know, and you can break down basic ideas and, and, and storylines, and you can say, ooh, I want a scene by the Pentagon, okay, Pentagon, um, ooh, a fight scene, fight scene, you know, write down basic ideas to give yourself a framework, and then go, okay, great, and then you want to start marching forward and start marching forward. So those are the two basic ways I start to write. And this is my very first novel, The Tree. It's about a Garden of Eden. Imagine it's Indiana Jones finds a new Garden of Eden. And then this is one in my six book series of vampires, although I've only written and published two. So if you use these two basic formulas, you will suddenly start to get published works. And if you have any questions about publishing, please put them down below in the comment section. Now, for what I promised you at the end of this video. Stephen King, in his book on writing, talks about write every single day. About an hour. And where that comes from is that some people think, oh, I have to write eight hours a day. No. You sit down, you can have a full-time job, come home, put yourself in your corner and write for an hour, write for 45 minutes, write for maybe an hour and a half. He says, don't write too long because then you will tire yourself out and then you won't keep up the work. And so basically, if you just sit down for an hour a day, sometimes you're gonna write for 30 minutes, sometimes you write for an hour and a half, and sometimes you will sit there and stare at the screen and have no idea what to write. And I've literally done this 
to where you're sitting there and you're like, and, save, close, boom, I put a word down. So don't be afraid to just put one word down, close the file for the night, come back to it the next night. Because by the time you come back, IDs will have come. And so that's it. So those are your two ways to start writing your first book. So I do want to hear in the comment sections below, do you have books? Are you working on one? Are you not working on one? Do you have one completed but you have no idea how to publish it? Let me know because I can help you with that. Also, if you like my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And this is my Tutorial Tuesdays. You guys know about my shows on Fridays. So thanks for watching. You can check out some of my other uh, content. And enjoy becoming a published author. See you next time.